All right, it is time for another episode of Brickmania TV. Today we have a Blue Shirt Edition episode with the Hayate. Yep, KI-84. Low Yate. Oh, bad, bad. <laughs> the camera guy made me say that. Gosh, okay. Let's get right into it. The, let's start off with the history of this. Well, uh, World War II, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, Japan, Imperial Japan and uh, uh, the United States got into it in the Pacific and uh, uh, the Imperial Army basically was always in need of a improved uh, fighter plane and came up with the, uh, you know, increasingly, basically, uh, increasingly more power, demand for increasingly higher horsepower engines, right. heavier armament, heavy armor, um, and throughout the war this kept increasing and the Hayate was basically the pinnacle of the Japanese Army's Air Force uh, fighters of World War II. Cool, cool. So um, you have a pretty extensive library for your source information. Right, I did I, a ton, a ton of background. I've been pulling out books here and you just have so many of them. It's pretty cool. So. Well, I didn't know anything about this particular, right. I, you know, me being a naval battle kind of person, I know a lot more about Navy stuff yep. and I didn't know anything about, uh, or much about the Japanese Army Air Force stuff. Right. Um, turns out the Hayate was probably the, the closest equivalent of um, let's say the the American Corsair or, or P forty seven sure. or something. It was a real high end, high performance fighter, sure. two thousand horsepower engine. Um, really, really this top of the line, state of the art for when it came out. That's cool. That's cool. Um, any other historical facts you'd like to point out? Or well, notable it's battles. Cool. Well, or? yeah. I mean, it, it, it's one of those things. In, in the war, it came late in the war. Um, you know, as everything that was developed during the war, there right. was problems with production, problems with teething, um, and it really hampered. This was a great fighter plane. Um, the Americans who got it, they, they got a, captured a bunch of these at the end of the war. Mm -hmm. They loved it. Um, the real thing that hampered it for the Japanese is one, uh, they couldn't get decent fuel. Um, this, this needs uh, really high octane fuel. They couldn't get a good supply of it. Two, quality pilots. Um, right. The Japanese didn't rotate their pilots out like the Americans did. So uh, basically, they would all their pilots that started the war, they flew until they were dead or exhausted, mm -hmm. um, died of you know, killed in action right. or died of uh, being overworked. And the replacement pilots just weren't up to up to up to par. So the Americans rotated their pilots out. Old veterans cheering the new guys. The Japanese didn't do that. So uh, unfortunately, they didn't have the they didn't have the manpower to right. build a couple thousand of these airplanes and didn't have a couple thousand qualified pilots to, right. to do real a lot of damage with them. Which is good for us. Right. <laughs> but yeah, it was, it, yeah. Was, it was doomed for Japan. Cool. Well, on to the uh, kit itself. Um, I just said cool to the doom for Japan. So. <laughs> Cool. No. Well, <laughs> it, it's a it's, it's a neat story. Right. Thing. Yes. It's not necessarily cool that right. you know war, <laughs> war is hell and nobody wants. The kit war. itself is really cool. So. Well, it's interesting. Yeah. This is of course it's it's the Brickmania standards. You've got a, a solid model. Um, you know, comes with a, a custom printed pilot yep. uh, that uh, that Lando did here. Um, and we'll show a nice 360s. So I don't have to yank him out of the right. the, the cockpit. This is a Japanese Imperial Army. Pilot, right. Um, a little bit different uniform than the Imperial Navy pilots. Um, there's a full harness on this thing, 360 printing. I think I got a picture. Do you? Do you? That we modeled it somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this, these are cool, like, cool books. This, this is, yeah. There you go. Here we go. So look at this. So this, this is, model, what, this is roughly after that guy. Yeah. Um, a slightly different. Slightly uniform. shorter. Yeah, yeah. He's not as tall as this guy. So cool. <laughs> That's who he's modeled after. It's a cool book. Yeah. This book's awesome. Just back in the '60s, they made really cool <laughs> stuff. <laughs> it's got this nice fancy cover with. Whatever. It's Canadian too. Ooh. So that was for a museum. Um, we we took a couple. This is this is like a basically ground-based um, cam camouflage. Mm -hmm. You'd have a white underside and green up over over the top. Sometimes you'd see this modeled, but we we modeled basically what would be. You would see this towards the end of the war. These would be attacking, like say, B-29 formations or in defense of Japan. These were scattered all over the countryside um, in wait in anticipation of the American invasion. Um, we took some actual uh, unit symbols, uh, kind of simplified everything just just yeah, just to keep it. Bit. It looks beautiful. Um, in any case, if you do say so yourself. No, I'm no. talking about the stickers. <laughs> I had nothing to do with the stickers. That's your. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's you. Well, the airplane is a cool looking airplane. Yeah, and it's sturdy. You can super swooshable, super super playable. Of course, the landing gear. Yep. 
blend. That thing is. All. This is really sturdy. Like, shake that thing. That's like, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's, it's, it it's totally swooshable. The, the propeller spins. Everything what does it what it's supposed to. The machine guns don't fire, unfortunately. Sorry. You'll have to. You have to have simulated cannon fire. So the next version will come. Out yeah, yeah. A little tiny, little tiny uh, um, <laughs> bullets. No, we can't no. do that. <laughs> My mom will be mad. <laughs> I will be punished. <laughs> so that's it. All right, cool. Ki eighty four. We need some, we need a little rotating spinner thing here. So Ooh. yeah, that'd be cool. All right, so that is the uh, that is the kit. That's the Ki eighty four Hayate. Yeah, and uh, we made this for uh, Pacific Month, which is all month long. Hashtag Once, Pacific Bricks. Yes, I think we're back to hashtag Pacific Bricks. We did this last year. We're gonna do it again this year, and you'll win valuable cool prizes or potentially win valuable cool prizes. Absolutely. Cool. Yep. All right. That is the episode. For more information, check out BrickMania.com. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your support.